Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is to show a, uh, a tutorial from Cycling74's website about using the new Visi modules for uh, video processing. This is Visi Quick Start. Uh, it's number one under Introducing Visi. And uh, what I've got looping here is one of Max's built-in videos. It's the basketball one, and it looks really weird at the beginning, but, you know, it grows on you. It becomes, it becomes near and dear to the heart. Um, what I've got up here is a player Visi uh, module. In fact, if I show you, if I unlock the patch, I can just right-click and come down to Paste from Visi PVR. That's for player, viewer, and recorder. Um, I can get a player from right there. And then over here on the right side, I've got a viewer. I get that from right there. Um, I've also got a message here, read b-ball movie. Because it's in the default search path, it knows what folder it's in. And I load that into the rightmost um, inlet here. And you see it says you can also send a message read to load a movie. And I've got a load bang, so it starts when I open up the, um, the movie. Uh, the nice thing about the Visi module is I have the option of, for instance, controlling the speed. If I take it back here, it actually will become reverse. You see now it's reversing backwards. And down here, I can also drag and select a part of the um, video to loop. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And this will restore it back to where it was. This will get that back to where it was. And let's see if we can make it go fast. Yeah, now it's going really fast. Anyhow, uh, that's the use of the viewer, and over here I have you know, can change the size of the viewer window. Now it's little, and now it's bit well, bigger. Now it's the big one. I can also press full screen like this. There's full screen. I'm going to press escape to go back to where I was. Um, but the quick start tutorial also talks about some of the effects that you can run in, and so I'm just going to unlock it. And I had the effects on here previously. I deleted them, so I'm just going to undo that delete. And uh, the first effect that's going to show up is uh, the Burkoser. That is for brightness, contrast, and saturation. And you can see it does some pretty cool effects on it. And in fact, if I just start you know, pushing, for instance, with the presets here, you can change it to however you want. These are the presets that come uh, into it with the Visi module. So, and you can change these things manually as well. Anyhow, those are the modules uh, under the Procoser for brightness, contrast, and saturation. I can throw in another module, and that will be the, um, the pixelator. Let me lock this up. And so now I am, I've got the feed running out of player into both uh, the Procoser and the Pixelator, but I only have the feed coming out of the Pixelator right now. Um, and it's got a lot of options to make it big pixely like that one. Anyhow, um, a lot of interesting things that can be done. Cool. Only lightly pixeled. Anyhow, um, but what's neat is when you have two different effects, you can also run them through a, uh, a crossfader. So I'm going to add that right now. And now what I have is a crossfader. And um, what's going on here is that I've got the, the feed going into these two uh, modules separately. Then I have them coming out of there and into the video one and video two in. And then the crossfader here just lets me vary how much of we're seeing from one or the other. So if I drag it over, just got to get its attention. And you see, for instance, the pixelation starts to come in until the pixelation dominates the picture. I can come back part way to what it was. Uh, it can be a really interesting effect. Anyhow, um, that is the extent of the Visi Quick Start um, lesson from introducing Visi on the Cycling74 website and you know it, it's a very rewarding thing because it makes it easy to do some really cool effects very quickly. Thanks.